January 23, 2015 was historic for the Grand River Dam Authority as it officially broke ground on a new 495 megawatt combined cycle gas plant. The event marked the first time in over 30 years that GRDA began construction on a new electric generation project and it took place at the Grand River Energy Center, formerly the coal-fired complex, in the shadow of the last generation GRDA constructed in the early 1980s. I want to start by thanking our customers. <laughs> Because of our relationship with our customers that we exist and you stood with us in making the decision to build this facility to build this new plant and you've made a long-term commitment to GRDA many of you in this audience may not realize this but our municipal customers all have a contract with us in the year 2042 I'll repeat that to the year 2042 that is a long-term commitment to GRDA, and we're returning that long-term commitment by building this facility. Uh, this will uh, serve us for the next 30 years, and uh, will provide the power necessary to make sure that we meet uh, those uh, obligations that we have. The new unit will have the potential to be the most efficient combined cycle generator in the United States. GRDA is purchasing the unit from Mitsubishi Hitachi Power Systems Americas, and it will be constructed in Savannah, Georgia. While several of these units are in operation in Asia, this will be the first MHPSA unit of this type in the Western Hemisphere. Getting the unit from the idea phase to the point of groundbreaking was a long process, as many other options were researched. In 2012, we began to study our future generation needs and formulate a generation plan to meet our customers' needs while addressing a changing industry a changing environment and new environmental regulations. Our committee reviewed numerous options presented by the GRDA staff and our consulting engineers, as previously mentioned, Black and Beach. Now, let me assure you that no option wasn't considered or fully vetted. Our recommendation was to construct a new combined cycle plant that we're talking about today and to meet environmental standards on Unit 2 and make those upgrades. The new combined cycle facility will burn Oklahoma natural gas and will allow us to further diversify our generation mix with more wind resources. I consider this a win-win for our customers and the state of Oklahoma. The new unit will produce electricity in two ways. Natural gas will be used to fuel a combustion turbine generator and then heat from that process will be recaptured and used to produce steam to turn another steam turbine generator. Because of the heat recovery process, it is expected to be a very efficient generation source. Our generation across the country, and we're a great example in Oklahoma, right now it involves three pieces. The first part you probably don't think about, but you expect it every time you hit that light switch. We expect it to be reliable. We don't pay attention to that until it's not, and then we get all mad. You expect it to be affordable. Okay. Oklahoma is the fifth cheapest electricity in our country right now okay. because of the work that goes on as a great example right here at the Red River Energy Center. And, and we expect it to be sustainable and protect our environment. And we're doing that more and more. We see people ask about it more and more, and we see our utilities uh, and all of our power generation across the state investing more and more. Those aren't three easy pieces to balance. If you're going to balance something like that, it takes a long-term vision, it takes leadership, and it takes a team. Okay. This center here, this facility in particular, is a great example of that long-term vision. What a great day for Oklahoma and GRDA. It's a true honor chairman of this board, to even be on this board, is the greatest honor that I've had in my life. And the people that we have, I, I talk about this most every chance I get, the people that we have at GRDA are absolutely phenomenal people. You can call them associates, you can call them employees, you can call them staff, but let me tell you, when you call them, they respond, and they respond greatly. 
Chuck Peoples, a 30-plus year veteran at GRDA, was also on hand at the event and spoke about the role Oklahomans have always played in providing the electricity that has helped power Oklahoma. The people here have always committed themselves to making sure that every challenge is met and every opportunity is available for the company's success. The face of GRDA has changed dramatically since 1940. It's changed a lot since 1984. We are no longer that little known state agency and today we are a major player among power companies in this region. The faces among GRDA employees have changed also. People that were working here when I began now have sons or daughters employed here. The employees have always been the lifeblood of this company. We perform our jobs whenever called upon, no matter the time, the day, or the conditions. We too are hardworking and dedicated, but we are also smart, better trained, and better equipped than ever before. We want to succeed, and we want our company to succeed. Many of us have committed a lifetime to GRDA, and we want to leave it better than we found it for those that will come after us. This commitment will ensure not only reliable, low-cost power for the people, but also a secure future for its employees now and in the years to come. As the employees, we are GRDA. Thank you.